<laughs> we are live, y'all. Where are y'all at? Are you in the chat? If you were in the chat, get chatty with me because, you know, I feed off of y'all's, y'all's energy. Give me your energy. No. We are going to be talking about what to get from the Sephora sale, uh, excuse me, the Sephora savings event. I also bought some things. You have to excuse me. I'm using different lighting and I'm hoping that it has me okay. It says that nobody's in here. Am I in the right stream? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> there I am. Hello, everyone. If you were in the chat, get in the chat. Let's get all chatty about this Sephora sale. Jessie Monroe Nail Care, my homegirl, she said she is ready to shop. Listen, I showed this earlier, and by earlier, I mean like two seconds ago, where I was showing that I also did some shopping. We're going to talk about what I got, but I wanted to go over a couple of different categories to thank you. I didn't have time to change my clothes, so I still got on my house clothes, but I was like, they ain't going to see much of what I got on anyway. Got a little flyaway up there situation. Um, so let's get started, y'all. Now, because I'm using this through StreamYard, we can get real interactive, which I love. So I can actually pull up products and whatnot. Um, if you want to shop any of the products that I'm talking about, make sure you check out the description box. The description box is going to be, I think you can still, still see the description box um, in a live feed if you're on YouTube. Um, but if for whatever reason it's not showing up, you know, after the live is um, done, you'll be able to click through. But I'm pretty sure that you can shop through the description box. I have the links there. Oh, I did forget to take some things out of the description box because earlier I made an executive decision. Um, I need to, how do I mute this? I, I had to make an executive decision to um, <laughs> take some stuff out of my cart because when I saw that total, because it was one total for, <laughs> there was one total for, in-store pickup, which was like 180 something before the discount. And then there was a, you know, orders to be shipped total, which was almost $200. Well, 180 is still almost $200. Then I was like, ooh, I, I need to lessen the amount. But I uh, forgot to put, to take that out of the description. So let me do that right now. So we're going to start with cleansers. Um, and uh, let me just take these things that I did not buy. Out. I was supposed to do that this morning, but I forgot. And then I also see that I have stuff that I need to put in here because I bought um, two things today <laughs> that, was, that were super impulse purchases. All right, so let's start with cleansers. Sarah, little sis, how you doing? All right, so also, if you want to know my thoughts on dark spot products at Sephora, body products, anti-aging fragrances. I've done videos on those, so uh, you can check those out. But cleanses, the first cleanser I think that I would like to talk about is something that I have talked about um, pretty often here on the channel. And that is, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can get this in here. Presents, share screen. Why y'all so quiet? It can't just be Jesse and Sarah up in the chat. Y'all get in the chat. All right, so this cleanser here, um, this is from Peter Thomas Roth, the Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud uh, Makeup Removing Gel Cleanser. I'm actually gonna sign out of here before I accidentally dox, uh, dox myself. <laughs> Cause I can see me doing that by accident. Did it sign me out? I said sign out, sign out. This thing is playing, maybe if I refresh. Yo, why won't let me sign out? That's wild. All right. Well, hopefully it doesn't do anything dumb. But anyway, this cleanser, I have bought like 10 of these cleansers. Hey, Bissette. Um, I bought like 10 of these cleansers already. It's really hydrating because you do not want your cleanser to make your skin feel stripped. You want something that after you wash your face, you know, you don't want to, unless you have very, very dry skin, you don't want something to feel like there's like residue left on your face, or you, like your face feeling greasy. But at the same time, you also don't want your skin to feel like squeaky clean because then you probably, 
do a little too much. It's 1136 in South Africa. That's why I'm quiet. Hi, Gugu. Hi, Janine. Hey, babe, Lord, it's Friday. I just got paid. Just got paid. It's Friday night. And I also wondered if I started the live too early, like if 530 was too early. But I was going by what YouTube tells me that uh, most of you guys are online. And the, la the last hour to that a lot of people were online was six. I was like, okay, maybe it's sort of like, like 530, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, so this cleanser, you can, you can, you can remove makeup and uh, cleanse it. Like you can do your double cleanse with just this cleanser. Um, you might have to cleanse twice though. So um, yeah, I, when I tell you this has to be like, they, the first time I got it was in PR. So I didn't pay for the first one, but the subsequent ones, that was on me. And the only reason why I didn't buy another one during this sale is because I still have an extra one from the last sale. All right. So another cleanser that I like, if you have dry skin, let me copy the link here and black out. I have been watching um, Martin <laughs> on Max. So if I do some Martin-esque stuff, you know, that'll be why. So this is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. This, because Glow Recipe to me um, is a well-loved brand and they make really nice products, but I'm very, my nose is very sensitive and anything I say about fragrance should be taken with a grain of salt because there's a lot of fragrances that I'm like, I like it on you, but I don't like that on me. But this cleanser, since it is a rinse off product, it doesn't um, affect me as much as some of the other fragrances that Glow Recipe uses in their products. My niece loves Glow Recipe, and I know a lot of people who love Glow Recipe and the fragrance doesn't bother them. So like I said, see, Jessie says she loves, um, Jessie. Well, Jessie Monroe is the name, but I know that's my girl, Kalina. Um, Kalina loves uh, Glow Recipe, but to me, the, the fragrance in it, like my nose. Anyway, y'all ain't, ain't come on here to hear me talk about that. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. All right, so Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. It's really creamy. I, I like that this is creamy. Now, this is, I have oily skin. However, right now, it's um, it's spring, but it's, it's technically, it still feels like winter in New York. And I don't know if it's the weather that's been really weird lately, or if cis, you know, age is slowly catching up on cis because my skin has been a little bit drier than normal um, a lot lately. Um, so typically this would be a little bit too much for me, like going into the warmer months. But if you have dry skin, you'll probably like this year round. If you have oily skin, maybe this is something that you use in, you know, if you get a very cold winter near you. So and then as I'm talking about these products, let me know if any of these are your faves or if you have other faves. I'm, the last cleanser that I wanted to talk about is a true uh, makeup removing cleanser. And it is, boom, 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 the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm Makeup Remover. This is a classic. This is a classic. This is one of those, and I wish I had, I probably do have one of these in the house, but I ain't trying to get up. <laughs> we will have a show and tell, of course, later because I did buy some things up in here, you know? Um, but it is a creamy balm that when you rub it into your hand, now you want to do this with dry hands. You rub it into your hands. It's going to emulsify into like an oil and then you massage it into your face. It is going to melt off your makeup, including um, liquid lipsticks. It's going to also um, help to remove, um, what's the stuff? Uh, waterproof mascara, waterproof liner. Um, and then you go in with your regular cleanser. So maybe like a, like the Glow Recipe cleanser or even like the Peter Thomas Roth cleanser you could use after that. But when you use something like this, you definitely want to, um, do it on dry hands because if you want, if your hands are wet, it kind of messes with the uh, way that the product works. Another one that I like also, uh, what is the brand? What is the brand? Pharmacy. Pharmacy's green, mean green, clean green, whatever the hell that thing is called. I'm going to pull it up here. Green, clean, makeup removing cleansing balm. This is another fave of mine, but that Clinique is definitely a classic. See, S. Kemple said Clinique um, you can never go wrong. This is not in Sephora can't. Oh, okay. I read your comment wrong. I read it as there's no Sephora in Canada anymore. And I was like, oh my God, as of when? 
but you said this is not in Sephora Canada anymore. Janine said, it's the weather in New York City. I'm an oily skin girl too, and I've been parched recently. Okay, so good. It's not, it's not just me. Cause I was like, damn, I'm going through the change. First is the skin that gets dried out. And the next thing you know, she's dried out too. Oh, <laughs> oh Sarah says, I've been on the fence, but I'll try it, especially with my dry skin. Thanks to the Aztec unhealing clay incident of 2016. Girl, girl, that's still messing with you. Lord, you need to get a um a settlement from the Aztec clay, unhealing clay. I see what you did there. You need to get you a settlement, girlfriend. Um, yeah, and then S. Kempel said, Clinique, you can never go wrong with. Yep. Did I tell you guys? I don't think I told you guys. I got invited to Clinique's um I, not their factory. What is it called? Their lab, uh, which is in Melville, which is in New York, not, you know, not too far from New York city. Um, I got invited over there twice. And one, it's so funny. One of, one of the people who was giving us the tour of the lab, um, went to high school. She, she didn't go to high, she went to the same high school as my sister, but not at the same time as my sister. Cause she was closer to my age. I just thought that was so cool. But Clinique's lab, um, I got to see like how they made some of the products. I got to stick some of the ingredients and in. I'm pretty sure they threw it away right after because it was probably like, girl, what you doing? But I did get to put a little of the products up in the, the cleaning thing. I was like, all right, all right. Um, so we're going to move on to exfoliants. Remember to participate in the chat. Also, let me know what you guys are buying. Okay, here's a, here's a laundry list of things I'm about to ask you to put up in the chat. Let me know what you plan on buying if you bought anything already. Let me know if you're not even going to shop the sale because maybe um, you're a beauty insider or um, you can shoot, even if you're rouge and you found better deals elsewhere, we need to know that kind of thing because um, a lot of times you can get better deals when you shop directly with brands because some brands will have like a 30%, which I do typically see more around the November, like when Sephora does their November friends and uh, not friends and family their fall savings event, I do find that a lot of uh, brands have their own sort of friends and family sales around that time where you can get like 30 or 40 or 50% off and it's more worth it to do that. I haven't really been seeing a lot of brands doing them now, but you know, I only got two eyes and you know, if y'all seen anything, let me know. And then let me know. Um, yeah. So let me know if you're shopping the sale, if you've bought anything, if you bought anything already, what you plan on buying. I know this is a lot. What you plan on buying, or if you've seen better deals elsewhere, because you know, we would love to know that too. All right, so exfoliant. I don't think this is something that is gonna be like that far-fetched for you. However, boom, boom, boom. Sunday Riley good jeans, all in one AHA lactic acid. Now, this duo though, I thought was, and it's limited edition. I thought this was a good deal because it's $110 for the two. So there's two, I believe these are 30 ml. Yes, 30 ml, one ounce. So two one ounce bottles for $110. If you were to buy the one ounce bottle on its own, how much is a one ounce bottle on its own? It's 85. So it would have been $170 if you bought, if you bought two of these. Is that, is my math right? Yeah, 170. And if you get these two, it's 122. So then you save a little bit. Oh wait, not 122. There it is. It's ah, it's 110. So you get you know the 230 milliliters um, for 110. It's a little bit of a uh, discount there. And then you can get your uh, insider discount on top of that. I didn't re up on this. I must be on my like. I gotta be on like my sixth bottle, sixth bottle of Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Um, I didn't re up because last, I can't remember if it was fall or if it was winter. I actually bought the big value size. Well, it's not that big. I actually bought the value size one from anthropology actually. And, um, anthropology had a 30% off sale and anthropology also sells beauty. So I was like, <laughs> but that was in like November, December. I don't know that anthropology is um, going to have that sale now. Um, and then another one, not, not even probably not that much of a shocker with um, the Polish choice BHA. 
Now, one thing I would love to, to point out here, we always talk about how great the Polish Choice BHA or BHA in, in general, BHA is also salicylic acid, how good it is for acne because it goes deep into the pore and it helps to um, kind of disrupt the gunk and the, the stuff that kind of could make you break out. But remember, this is for so five to five to five. So, ooh, we're gonna find out. Um, but BHA is also great for ingrown hairs. So if you have some ingrown hairs, I would not, I would not use a BHA or any kind of exfoliant or anything like that directly after removing hair. I would let that calm down a little bit first. You know, pick a struggle, <laughs> let one struggle happen at a time. I'd say maybe like a day after you've removed the hair, depending on, um, you know, make sure you don't have any irritations or any open wounds or anything like that, because ouch. Uh, but you can put that on um, the underarm area, the bikini area. If you have some people who identify as male, you know, when they shave or some of us um, who identify as women, you got to shave too because, you know, after, after, after 30, them facial hairs come in. So, you know, they can get a little bit trapped if you're, if you're shaving or if you're removing your hair uh, through waxing, whatever method you're removing your hair from, sometimes you can get those um, ingrown bumps on your hair. And sometimes, you know, the, the guys who shave will get them on the back and it can be a little annoying, but a BHA can, can help with that. And if you wanted to shop any of these products, let me remind you again that um, I've listed them in the description. And actually when you shop with, you know, my links, it does kind of help me out. I get a little credit and I do get a little bit of a commission that, you know, I put back into the channel so I can get equipment and stuff. Speaking of equipment, I broke one of my professional lights and I was like, oh my God, how am I go? How will I, how will I be? But um, I emailed the company. I got them from ICAN, I-K-A-N. And um, they answered me. Like I emailed them like Friday, Monday night, Tuesday morning. They had a reply from me in my inbox, basically saying that, um, you know, they could repair the thing. I just have to mail it out. And I'm like, frick to mail it out, that means I can't film. But luckily I had these, you know, inexpensive lights that I got from um, Amazon that I think are doing pretty, I think they're doing okay. Like y'all can see me or whatever. But I overnighted it to them yesterday. UPS came for it at like 4.30 yesterday. They got it at 9.54 central time. That guy was in my inbox by like 2.30, maybe 3 o'clock Eastern time here saying that he already fixed it and here's the bill, call customer service and pay it and we'll ship you back the light. I haven't had a chance to call customer service because I'm talking to y'all. But that's some, that is some customer service. All right, let me see what y'all saying up in this chat. All right. Um, I probably should get a settlement. It's my money and I need it. <laughs> That is hilarious. Um, I don't need anything, but I feel like I need to shop. That was me. Once you see the 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 stuff that I bought in here, which we're gonna get into, I pretty much and plus I had a limited amount of time because uh, I wanted to have things to show you for for today, but I also needed to like get on the line with my therapist. So I was like, hurry up and buy. But I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with my um, impulse pur purchases. And some of them I'm wearing right now. I wonder if you can guess what one of my impulse purchases might be. Um, I bought the Supergoop Sheer Screen Sunscreen, trying it for the first time, fingers crossed. Oh man, I think that, I feel like I remember that one being okay-ish. They do have a new, um, I forget what it's called, but which is really funny because I just reviewed it. I mean, you guys haven't seen it yet because I haven't um, filmed. I haven't filmed the video, put the video out. But they have a new one, um, unseen sunscreen mineral, that isn't. Um, that's pretty decent. It's not invisible, but it's pretty decent. Um, let's see. One good thing about Clinique is we have plenty of it in South Africa. And it's affordable. You can't go wrong there. Um, I want to move back up north so bad. I reject this heat and return it back to the sender. Listen, I think we could switch places for a little bit. I would not mind. Um, Jen the South said that Makeup Forever has 25% off on their site. So there we go. We can save more money there. Hello, Beatrice. Hey, Haley. But you look gorgeous. Anything on Super Goop Skin Tint? That is what I plan to buy. 
I can do you one better. Um, how do I share my screen again? There we go. Oh my God, is Mr. Softy outside? <laughs> thank God I can't, um, thank God I can't eat, um, what you call it? <clears throat> I can't eat regular dairy ice cream because <laughs> my mind would have been running outside to go and see Mr. Softy. All right, let me share my screen here. So, I got the three deepest shades, 46N, 52N, 58W. There is a jump between the numbers, so I'm wondering if maybe later on they're planning on filling in between. So 46N seemed like it would match me, and it might be passable. Now make sure you put on your base sunscreen, because I don't think that most of you are going to put on enough of this product for it to count. Probably gonna need to warm it up with a little bronzer. Though it seems darker, I did like how 52N gave me more of a healthy color to my skin tone. That aside, I did love the finish of this product and that I didn't look like a grease ball by the end of the day when wearing it. You tell me what you think, 46N, 52N. I would probably go up in color if you're unsure because these are made with zinc oxide and zinc oxide is a white material. When you mix something white with a deeper color, you get a grayish, more muted version of that darker color. Would you try this? Let me know in the comments and click below for more of my reviews on tinted sunscreens. I got the three. All right, so that is the T on the uh, super group tint. It, not, it it wasn't bad. Um, I would say that if you are um, have a richer complexion than I do, you might have a hard time finding a shade because I think that 58W, the one that I swatched um, after the other two shades, I think that was the deepest one. Um, and I had to go up a shade because I felt like the one that, that was supposed to match me was uh, given a little bit of a, like it needed a little zhuzhin. Um, Jesse Monroe says you can't go wrong with Sunday Riley. You can't. Uh, oh, well, actually, you can. There are some. I, I just realized what I said. There are some. Um, there's some Sunday Riley things that. Um, um, there was something I tried, but that good good jeans is some good stuff. But there was. I think it's autocorrect that I tried, and my my um under eye area was like, mm -mm. I mean, I want that. Mm -mm. Sarah says, I'm still so fearful of exfoliants. I have worked so hard to get my skin to where it is now, but I still have closed bumps on my forehead for years. I'm nervous. I'm interested, but still nervous. Um, they, they make the, some really gentle, like look into like PHAs. So PHAs, polyhydroxy acids, they're gentler. They tend to be more hydrating. You can also try some of the AHAs like Mandelic or, um, Lactic acid, which the good genes is lactic acid. Good genes might have more than lactic acid. And if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the ingredient list, but there are gentle exfoliants. And then if you're someone who you're trying to uh, be on the more cautious side, you slowly introduce them in. So you, you know, first of all, you shouldn't be using it. It is, it is of my belief that one should not be exfoliating every day because there's already stuff that we do to our skin that um, counts as exfoliation. Like just washing your face and the mechanical um, uh, motion of your hands touching your face, that's the exfoliation. Um, so a lot of that can be too much. So I, whereas somebody with oily skin might be able to exfoliate maybe two to three times a week. If you have drier or in or sensitive skin, I would say one to two times a week, but baby your way into it and definitely don't use it on a night where, or during the day when you're using something that's a little bit more potent. So I wouldn't use an exfoliant the same night I'm using a retinol. You might need to pace yourself in order to get to that point or not do it at all, but just be careful. Um, the Sephora cell private fragrance line from YSL. Let's find out. Let us find out. Let us look on the Sephora side and see if they sell. All right, so we're gonna go to fragrance. Uh, actually, we're gonna go to brands. We're going to YSL. Um, do you have a favorite YSL private line fragrance that we, we need to know about? Because it sounds like you know, you know the tea, and I need to know. Um, 
these look like regular YSL to me. Yes, these are regular. I don't, I'm not very familiar with all of the YSL fragrances, but these don't look like a private label to me. I would say that these are, I would say no. Um, they might not, but do they sell things? I don't think they sell things in store that they wouldn't put online. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to say that they probably don't, but maybe they need to get into that. I do want to see Sephora sell more, uh, niche perfumes. Like, I, like my perfumes, the Marley that I bought from Bloomingdale's, I did get at a good sale, um, because they had like a, I think like a friends and family or something like that. Um, but like, Give me some points. Give me some, give me something. <laughs> BHA helps with ingrowns. Let me find out. I feel like throwing the mightiest of Falcon punches is when my partner and my mom mentions them. Thank you, Big Sis. You are so welcome. And it's it's not, you know, for a specific gender too. I know uh, men who use it for razor bumps and like, the you know, like the razor bumps that they get in the back of their um, heads. Uh, Casey Johnson, same. Right now, all I have is hand sanitizer and topical slather, but I feel like I need more. That's one thing I, <clears throat> excuse me, normally with this sale, I'm able to have a level head and be like, ah, I don't need that. I, I already have enough that I need. And I also, as somebody who gets products sent to me um, pretty often, I still be like, damn, I want to buy something. But normally I'm able to resist that and, and have a level head. But something about this sale, it could be because of the way this year started out like this year started out real, real funny. Like, like real, like I always get winter blues, like winter seasonal depression, but it was bad this year. And then on top of the, the seasonal depression, it was like, things kept happening. Like I got into a car accident. Um, um, somebody was suing me, which was, Oh my God. <laughs> somebody was suing me. Um, my, my aunt passed away. Um, it was just like so many different things. And I was like, yo, come on, let me, please give me a, just let me breathe. All right. Does anyone know if the house lab foundation is long wearing and good for in heat? Now I have the house labs um, foundation and I was going to, um, uh, what you call it? Do I have it on the list here? <laughs> oh my God, the earthquake came back again. Did y'all feel that? Anybody in New York, did you feel that? That was so weird because when it happened this morning, I was in the gym and I didn't feel it. Like it, like a little bit of... But I'm also hearing a truck, so I'm like, I don't know if the truck, but why would a truck make my building shake? That was crazy. Um, yeah, I I I have the House Labs Foundation, and I really love it. Um, is your skin oily or dry? Because if it's dry, I think you would find it to be long wearing. It's long wearing, but it does have a sheen to it. So when, if your skin is oily and you're wearing it in the heat, I do feel like. Um, it can be a little, like, it might be something that you're going to need to um, constantly be touching up, but it is so beautiful. I have oily skin. I love that foundation, but I don't recall if I've worn it in the in the summertime. Um, Ulta has a 20% off for members now. Oh, thank you, girl. Okay, so I'm staying with Ilya Skin <laughs> No, nothing. As a matter of fact, the Ilias skin tint was definitely on the list here too. Um, nothing. I I have not tried a mineral tinted. It can be debated whether that is whether you can consider that a sunscreen or if you consider it a like a makeup product. But if you put on enough, it's SPF fifty. If you put on enough, you're gonna get that SPF fifty. Even if you don't put on enough, you're gonna get some sunscreen coverage but nothing beats that that is one of the most beautiful um mineral skin tints i have ever seen <laughs> the ilia one um and there's a link to it in the description if any guys were looking for it the full super goop line um isn't available at sephora canada i don't think we have the unseen mineral or the tinted sunscreens sheesh you know what maybe because i'm like 
Canadians, Americans, are we not going to be neighborly to each other? But maybe there's something in it that um, Canada doesn't allow. Um, oh, I use hydrocolloid patches for ingrowns. That's that's a good one, too. Um, what do you do if you bought middle sunscreen that leaves you looking like a ghost of the wrong shade with tinted sunscreen? Any tips or just chuck in the bin? Um, I, can, I think this is country specific because I know some countries you cannot return beauty items even if they did not work out for you. And the U.S. of A, listen, you you going to give me back my money. <laughs> like, I'm leaving here with something. you you going to give me my money back. Um, but you do have to check with, like, the store's uh, policy. But I tend to stay to shop at stores that um, have good return policies. I need to know if that was another earthquake <laughs> or, if I'm, or if I'm feeling things. All right. And I don't want, let me, I don't see any, okay. You said you're home and you don't feel it. Um, probably aftershock. Yeah. That was crazy. Okay. Let me go back up so that I don't miss. See, I didn't want to go down because I was like, damn, I'm going to miss a comment. Uh, hey, beauty Miss Firm. Hey there, beautiful sisters. I came to one of your events that you did in the grocery store restaurant. You gifted me products from Glossier, the vitamin C stuff, uh, serum, and the clear stuff. Anything better? Oh my God, that I did in the grocery store restaurant. The grocery store restaurant. What? What grocery store restaurant? <laughs> was it? Was it the um? Was it in that building in the Oculus? I don't remember. I don't remember the grocery store restaurant, but I remember you, obviously. But um, the vitamin C serum and the clear stuff. Oh, the clear sunscreen. Ooh, what's, okay, so who, Murad has a clear sunscreen coming out yet. I have not, I have coming out, it's either out now or it's coming out soon. I have not had a chance to try it yet. They probably, they said they were gonna send it to me, so it might be in something in my room that I haven't opened yet. So I'll let you guys know about that. But that seems pretty promising because they already have a clear sunscreen called um, Invisibler that, like, amazing. You can mix, uh, well, I wouldn't mix anything with your sunscreen. But I, what I meant to say is <laughs> you can use it as a primer um, or you can use it on its own. And it kind of mm -hmm. gives you, like, this kind of blurring kind of effect. Um, vitamin C, I'm going to direct you to my, um, let me see if I can show you my vitamin C playlist on the channel. Uh, let's go here, your channel playlist. Because there's like, there's a whole long, I mean, it's not that long and drawn out, but there's different, there's like levels to the vitamin C. So if you go on the vitamin C playlist, um, there's this video that talks about l ascorbic acid. There's this one that talks about like the derivatives. So, uh, check that out. That'll be, because I, I use a vitamin C from, um, SkinCeuticals currently, but I'm, I'm about to, uh, once that's done, I'm about to switch to the, um, using the Olay Super Serum more often because I was trying that out for, uh, my campaign, but I was like, well, I like this. All right, let me move on. And then I'll come back to the comments because otherwise I'll never forget, finish my list. So I'm going to talk about a couple more skincare things. We're going to talk about some makeup. We're also going to talk about what I got in this here bag. Um, I got a little cat carried away talking to y'all. All right. So another exfoliant that I am going to talk about is this one from Glow Recipe. Let me pull her up. Now, again, Glow Recipe... Um, has a very distinct fragrance that they use sometimes in their products um, that I'm not always a big fan of, but this is a nice product. So this is their PHA and BHA pore tight toner. So it's using that BHA, that uh, salicylic acid, but it also has polyhydroxy acids, which are gentler acids. They um, tend, some of them tend to be a little bit more hydrating. Um, so that's another pick that I had for the Sephora sale. And um, the links to things are in the description. So I would appreciate if, you, if you're going to you know, be shopping online or at least making your list so that you can buy them online and pick them up in the store. I would love for you to use my links because I do get credit and it does give me a small commission that 
you know, helps keep lights on and stuff in here. You know what I'm saying? All right. So sunscreen. Now I started to mention this. I do not have a demo for you right now to show you on this live, but um, literally as soon as I'm done with this live, I'm going to film. I, well, actually I did film the demo, but I don't have it like edited, but I need to film the speaking part of this video um, after we get off the live. And that is this mineral unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. This has to be, aside from the fact that it's matte and I do tend to go for things that are more on the dewy side, at least right now, because it's just so cold and dry. But this has to be one of the best, uh, let's say matte, matte uh, mineral sunscreens I've tried. You still got, there's no way of getting around a white cast because mineral sunscreens are just what they are. They're mineral sunscreens. They're made with um, white pigments. So it is what it is. Some brands are a little bit better at um, uh, hiding the way that the white cast shows. But th this was this was pretty nice. And you'll see that in that video. That video will probably hit within the next two weeks. I have a video coming up on this channel on Sunday. It's about heat training. It's like, it's a deep dive into heat training. Like the video is an hour and seven minutes long. Uh, I have three hair experts. So I have black hair stylist, a black dermatologist who specializes in hair loss, and then a black scientist who makes black hair care products in the video. So I, I can't wait for y'all to see that. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I was happy to film it. Um, another, we were just talking about this, but the Ilya, oh shoot. <laughs> the Ilya, skin cut, why do things so slow? The Ilya Super Serum Skin Tint. This is beautiful. Now this, I actually do have a presentation, uh, demo to show you. Uh, but it comes in, I don't know how many numbers is that? Two, four, well, many shades. <laughs> I don't have time to count it right now. But I mean, as always, as anything in beauty, um, it could they could use some more, you know, the deeper shades. Um, but let's see. Then they have any okay. All right. Let's see. Anything above this, I think, might be more on the lighter side. Well, I wouldn't consider I wouldn't consider this a deep skin tone, but this gets deeper here. So, okay, not not the worst shade range, um, but these are a skin tint. And when you have something that's a lighter coverage, the shades are more flexible. So you'll get you more more than one person will be able to wear a shade because the um, the coverage is sheer. When something is has fuller coverage, you gotta make sure that <laughs> you gotta make sure that message is correct. All right, let me see if I can find uh, the demo. It's in my Google Drive. <laughs> so let's see. Oh wait, or did I download it? Did I download this? Oh, I downloaded it. Okay, so we might be able to just watch it from in here. Let's see, video file. Yeah, there we go. So this is from the video that I did on it. Um, I would say shade 16 was my shade, that's shade 17. Although from this angle right here, when you look at it, it looks like it's a good match, but it is um, a little too dark for my face. You can notice that it's a little too dark for my face from um, when, like when it gets to like right, wait. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's like off or anything like that, but I would say that shade 16 was the um, better shade for me with this because it, it just kind of matched a little bit more. I could still wear shade 17 if I did like a, a like a, what do you call it? Like if I did like a lighter concealer in the center to kind of um, bring the balance back and the dimension back into my face here. But this has such a beautiful finish. Oh my God, it's so pretty. There's a full review of it on the channel. Anytime you're looking for something that I've reviewed, you can just type the, go to my channel. Um, let me just go here. You can go to my channel. And then you see like the little, 
uh, magnifying glass right there. Just, just pop that name right up in there and it'll come right up. All right. Another thing that I had here, um, if you're going to reapply, if you want to reapply makeup, um, reapply sunscreen over makeup, reapply makeup over sunscreen, Lord. Um, this, there aren't, there isn't a, there has not been a lot of innovation in uh, sunscreen products that you can wear over makeup. So I'm gonna just keep, you know, letting y'all know about the Super Goop Mineral Sunscreen Resetting Powder. I use the dark shade. Now there are brands that make products like this that are cheaper, but the packaging makes it so horrible to work with that, that I understand why this product is $35 because the packaging is way better than some of the cheaper alternatives alternatives that I've tried on the channel. Um, and then if you're looking for, you know, so those were um, mineral sunscreens. If you're looking for a chemical sunscreen, I like this one from Peter Thomas Roth, um, the Hyaluronic Hydrating Moisturizer SPF 45. It's very lightweight, yet it's very hydrating as the name kind of denounces with the water drench and the hyaluronic hydrating. Uh, this is this is a really nice one. I would say that um, unless you have a specific, like, like if there's sunscreen that you specifically, you can only get at Sephora. Otherwise I wouldn't typically tell people to go to Sephora for, for sunscreen because I find that you can get, you can get better sunscreen. Well, not better. Well, it depends. If you're looking for mineral, I feel like Sephora, you might have to go to Sephora to get some of the better mineral sunscreens. But you can go to like Yes Style, Stylevana uh, to get some of the Korean or the Japanese sunscreens. They'll be a, a cheaper. You can go on to Target. Target has a, a Walmart. Olay just came out with some sunscreens that I talked about and I'll talk about in the, the sunscreen video coming up. There's so many sunscreens on the on the drugstore level that I feel like, yeah, you know, Sephora has some cool ones, but unless you have a very specific need, then <laughs> the Myriad Oil and Pore Control Mattifying Face Sunscreen has been a favorite of mine for years. They, at some point, they uh, reformulated this. I want to say maybe four or five years ago, maybe more than that. It used to be an SP of fifteen or. 20 or something, something like that. Um, and it used to be a thicker paste. This is easier to spread. It's not as mattifying as the previous one was, but I kind of like that. But also I'm, you know, this is getting up there in age and, you know, as we get up there in age, the, you know, the oiliness on the, on the skin tends to kind of decrease a little bit. Um, so there's that. Now let me get into a couple of things that I bought. So, uh, skincare things that I bought that I can't show you because I bought them online, but I'll show you them online. <laughs> they haven't gotten here yet. I got this, uh, and let me know if you've tried this because I bought this blind. Well, kind of blindish because I, I, there's a fresh moisturizer that I'm using right now that I freaking love the black tea, something, something, something anti aging. It's in a brown bottle. Um, so I do like fresh moisturizers. But this was a blind by the Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. Sleeping masks are just very fancy ways of saying like a moisturizer that probably has like glycerin or something in it that you <laughs> that you put on overnight. Um, but I want to try that one. And you know, why not? So that's one thing that I bought for skincare. Another skincare item that I bought, I didn't buy a lot of skincare because I already have every freaking thing that I need um, skincare wise. But I also did a re-up. Let me make sure you can still see my screen. I also did a re-up on these from Dermaflash. So these are the, the Dermaflash blades for the Dermaflash um, device, which is a, a, a physical exfoliating advice, device that also gets rid of peach fuzz. So you can use this to exfoliate the skin, but then it also has the added benefit of getting like rid of those like little hairs on your face. So I got a re-up on that. Now let's talk about <laughs> makeup. And I just realized there were some makeup products that I wanted to show you that I have, but they're also not, um, like I'll get up and show it to you, but don't be asking me to see like the product like all up in the camera. Cause it, you know, 
it's not new. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm seeing some of you guys saying that you felt the aftershocks in New Jersey. Uh, does Sephora have Serena Williams' win line, or have you seen it? I have only seen Sephora, oh, Sephora's line, Serena's line um, on Instagram because she had an event here in New York on Wednesday that I missed. Ah, but um, <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to be in Sephora. I'm not sure where it's going to be sold. I'd have to look that up. I have not seen it. To be, to be honest, I, uh, I love Serena, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like what, what would I like to, I, you know what I want Serena to do? I, I, I don't know that I'm personally here for a Serena Williams makeup line. What I would love is I would love to hear her speak. Like, I don't know why I want her to be like, like a lifestyle influencer or something like that. Like not like an influencer in the, in the, like how I'm an influencer, but like a highfalutin celebrity type of way. Right. Like, I feel like if Serena Williams had a TV show or maybe even if it was an online show or something like that, where she talked about life and um, cause Serena Williams and I are the same exact age. We were both born in 1981. Like if she talked about life and what it's like, you know, being in her forties and juggling family and being a celebrity and her well being And like, I would be like, Maybe I need to DM her and be like, girl, I don't know. Does she do that online? Because I do not follow her on Instagram because maybe she's already doing that. But I just feel like I want to see that from Serena. Like, I want to know, does she talk to us? I mean, she, she look, like, she's, in, I mean, she's probably, she probably already does what I'm thinking of. Maybe I just need to, but I, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want to watch this on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to watch this on Instagram with in a vertical. I, I want to watch this like this, but on a TV. And I'm pointing to a TV that y'all can't see. Okay, you don't remember your event. You wore the polka dot dress. I don't. Listen, I remember you. I don't remember this event. Was it a brown and white polka or red and white polka dot dress? I don't remember this event, girl. <laughs> but I, I listen. I know I remember you because you, you, you the peaks. But I don't remember this event. Um, unless you're describing it different than <laughs> than how the event happened. All right, let's get into this makeup, y'all. All right. So first thing I want to talk about is Danessa Myrick's cream blush, and I might need to just get my behind up and go get it so that y'all can see how beautiful this is. But let me tell you something. Danessa Myricks, top tier, top tier. Not only is the makeup line top tier, I'm talking about Vanessa, Vanessa. <laughs> ah! Danessa, Danessa Myricks as a person, top tier, top tier, top tier. I, if you've been in the makeup world or oh, the online makeup world, for as long as I've been in this damn world, which is what, 14 years? Wait, 2000, no, 2007. And see, now I gotta do the damn calculator because my, my the brain don't be working like how we used to. So 2024 minus 2007, 17 years. Why my sister calling me? My sister don't never call me. Hello? I definitely felt that one. <laughs> Let me call you back, I'm on live. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a earthquake here in New York earlier today, and I was at the gym at the time, and I had just walked in, so I'm on this side of the gym. My trainer's on this other side, um, standing, sitting um, against the wall, and then there are people with her, uh, like around her, working out. She, all of a sudden, she gets up. She was like, "Oh my God, do you feel that?" And I'm like, "Girl, relax. Like, I just like, come on, let's all we'll, we'll work out." <laughs> Like, we're like, what are you talking about? She's like, you didn't feel that? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? So then everybody, the other people that felt it was like, oh my God, what was that? And they thought it was like the Long Island Railroad passing by because they could feel like, you know, I'm pretty sure it was stronger than what I just felt while we were on live. But I'm like, what are you guys talking about? So I felt all left out like, dang, I didn't feel the earthquake earlier. But as we were talking, if you just came in, we were talking and I all of a sudden I started feeling like a little, 
of the shaking. And that's why my sister just called. But anyway, Danessa Myricks as a person is top tier. I have known Danessa. I started in 2007, I think maybe by two, like I was going to the makeup show here in New York. Um, I think before I started my blog or maybe just around that same time. And Danessa had another line. I forget what it was called, but it was also amazing. But it was very, it was very makeup artist focused in that like if you were, uh, if you needed to do like certain like special effects, uh, if you needed to do like, and when I say special effects, I don't mean like walking dead makeup. I mean like if you have a client, if you have a celebrity client and they want to be like glittered, glittered down or they want like three dimensional looking lips and like that kind of thing. Um, but she has always been the sweetest person ever. And I am, the fact that I love her and her makeup line is just like, it's like, ah. anyway, these cream blushes. And let me just go run real quick and go get them so you can see it. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, I'm back. And I done, <laughs> I done moved the light. Okay, so now mine are well used. Ooh. How did that, did I have the light like that before? I hope so, because I don't want it to be in my light, in my eyes. Now these are very well used, <laughs> but this is so gorgeous. Oh my God, the pigment, the way that it looks on the skin. This is my favorite one. The shade is called, golden hour it's this bright orange but you know what the like look how pigmented that is but because it's a cream blush you can kind of sheer it out or if you wanted to add you know make it more intense you can kind of like just keep adding to it oh my god and it lasts it lasts here's another one this shade is called Prima Donna. I also like to wear the shade, but I, I feel like orange blush is where like I love to live at. But this one is also very gorgeous. Why did I put it in the same spot? <laughs> this is also very gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. You see that? And it lasts. So even when I'm wearing something like this in the summertime with my oily skin, it lasts. Um, I would probably set it with powder though, if you really wanted to. And if you want to take down some of the intensity, you could also put a little uh, face powder on top of it so that it's not as intense. But, oh, oh, this is beautiful. I love me some Danessa. The, the uh, cream cover, the cover, co cover cream, custom cover. She got a foundation concealer with the name cover in it um, that is also really nice. And, these though, <laughs> I love it. All right, now, next, now let me tell y'all something. I sometimes be kind of, I, I be like, all right, I don't know if I'm gonna talk about makeup with these people because you know, these are the skincare people and a lot of skincare people be like, don't be talking to me about no damn makeup. But then the makeup people be like, oh, why you don't do no makeup content no more? And then I be like, stuck between a rock and a hard place. So I'm like, y'all better like this makeup content. <laughs> this, so let me tell you something. Sometimes I feel like Sephora does a really good job and whatever the brands are, do a pretty decent job of displaying what a product looks like online. Because then when I go in the store or if I order it and it gets to me that I'm like, oh, okay, it looked the same. This, there is no freaking way that a computer generated image can make this look as beautiful as this thing is. Because I saw this and I was like, all right, it's a new product. Oh, they have new shades rather. Um, let me go and try it, right? But I was also like, I don't really need that. I went in the store. Yo, this. This is a masterpiece, let me stop. <laughs> no, but it looks fake, right? Like to me, it, look, it looks fake on the, on the line, it looks fake here, it looks fake in the store. But when you swipe this and get the color on, let me do it on my different hand where there's no makeup already, right? 
and it's kind of hard for me to see because my um I'm flipped, so it's not like a mirror image when I'm doing this live. So it's flipped, so I can't even. So I'm hopefully I'm showing you what this thing looks like. Uh. Now I just bought it, so I don't have any like notes on longevity or anything like that. That that'll come, you know, provided that y'all let me live and put some makeup content on this channel and still watch it. But this is oh my god! I was I was in the store like ah, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> like sometimes, sometimes I get so freaking excited about things. And it's like, yes, I get excited about skincare too. But sometimes with skincare, it takes like a lot of skincare is waiting and being patient and you know that sort of thing. But like something pretty like this, you just let me see what y'all saying up in um, I don't still don't understand how to use highlighter, bronzer, or contour. That looks stunning, though. We need an update on that product. Um, so all right, let me let me let me talk some more because people were asking, is it shimmery or glittery? Um, or does it just glow? Oh, look at Yasmin texting me. Yasmin, when we were at the gym earlier. Did you feel this one? Yes. <laughs> yes, I felt that. And I was on live when. When it happened. <laughs> All right. Let me talk to you more about this. So this is not, it has a sheen, right? I would not say that this is glittery at all. Maybe some of the other shades might have some glitter particles in it, but this shade that I got is called Love. I would say that it has a sheen to it. And honestly, I'm on my laptop talking to you guys. I would have loved to have like gotten my 50 millimeter camera, you know, and some, and some really good light to really show you what this looks like. But I would say that it's more of like a sheen. So, and then once it hits the light, whoop, mm. all right. So something like this. So it's, this is a highlighter, but because this one, this particular color has red in it, you can wear this as a blush. Nobody's going to clock you if you were to put this on the apples of your cheeks and wear it as a blush. And if they do, tell them, you know, um, but you can also use this as a highlighter, like at the high points of your cheeks as well. Oh, so beautiful. Blush. Blush is typically, you know, blush for us with deeper skin tones and blush for lighter people. Um, it's it's going to be two different two different kind of uh, experiences. If you're someone with a lighter tone, you probably want something that's a little more subtle. So maybe like a little peach, a little pink, a little coral, something like that. Now for deeper skin though, you need something with pigment. You need that intensity. So I remember a year many moons ago, I was a makeup artist and I would scare the mess out of my clients by showing them a bright blush color. Now, like, damn, I, I can't go out showing y'all what this looks like. <laughs> this thing is used. But this is, I, I'm sure y'all can see that this is a bright orange color. But the way that um, it looks beautiful on deeper skin, it's just going to have, like, that nice glow. Um, this, oh, my God, I cannot wait to wear this. Oh, I want to do a makeup video on the channel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how I can kind of, like, I've lately I've been... Lately, I've been scoring with some of the views on on the latest the latest videos. I'm like, you know, we we shall see. Um, another makeup product. All right, I'm gonna skip this one because I I'll show it to you guys, but I wound up not buying it once I saw it in the store. <laughs> the store. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Yasmin said that she didn't feel that one. And she she saw me on live experiencing the earthquake. So I thought that this was going to be just the most beautiful thing. Is it being shared? Okay. I just thought that this was going to be the most beautiful thing. Like, oh my God, I need this because right now I am in a liquid and cream makeup, like love affair, like liquid and cream. I want to be all over it. And um, I think what started it was I tried some inexpensive products from e.l.f. Elf has some really nice liquid blushes that have lots of pigment. I don't know, like I blinked my eye and I stopped paying attention to Elf for a little bit. And all of a sudden they had 
way better shade selection for darker skin. So, and I'll show you some e.l.f. things that I picked up today at Target. But um, e.l.f. is what got me into it. And I was like, all right, the e.l.f. one works really nicely. It's very pigmented. It doesn't last as long as I would love it to. But also, it's nothing to just throw that in my purse and just, you know, add more color throughout the day. So I was like, all right, let me try the NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. Because, you know, NARS was one of the first brands that I knew of back in the day that had blush colors that would show up on deeper skin. I got up in Sephora. Do I even have the video? Because, I, I, you know, what's funny. I just now remembered that I took video when I was in the store. Um, let me send it to my computer so that that way I can display it for y'all, airdrop it. Uh, Cause I took some swatches of some other colors, like of the rare beauty blush and the rare beauty blush. Did I put that in the description? Yes, I did put that in the description. Uh, so let me send that and that, and I'll show you guys that in two seconds. But man, I got there this little frowsy ass, excuse me, this little frowsy blush. I was like, man, I ain't need it. Because it was like, it's it's like an okay, it's like a safe blush shade, you know? Like it looks, it's pretty, but I was like, eh, I don't need that, miss. Let me show y'all um, some other swatches that I got in the store, the store of the Selena blush. Like, let me know in the comments if you are into makeup as well. Well, not me with the, ooh gonna get a what you call it a, a copyright strike with the music look how pretty that is those were the highlighters look at that I didn't pick up the highlighters because um I was a like, girl freaking relax like re relax like you buy highlighters don't even really wear them like that. <laughs> but this one is considered is this oh this is considered a blush the one that I picked up um but it could be used as a highlighter so, oh, so forget what I said about it being you wearing it as a blush because it is a blush. So I'll just show you show y'all that one more time. <laughs> this is funny. The name Elf always bothered me. Ain't nobody trying to look like an elf. <laughs> it's an acronym for eyes, lips, face, but I so agree with you. <laughs> um let me show you one other thing of swatches. I think these are the blushes as well. Ah! You see how they bust up the 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 uh, testers in um, Sephora? Wait, this was all I took? Wow, you know what might've happened? I might've um, thought I was taking swatches, but the camera wasn't recording. Oh, wait, no, I, here's another video. I cannot begin to tell you how many times I have <laughs> been videoing mad hard only to realize that I'm one videoing Nathan, yo. Like she won videoing Nathan. All right, let's see. I think this is it. Here. Ooh. Ah. Is this? Oh, y'all gotta excuse my hands. They was kind of dry too. What kind of swatches I took? Is this the <laughs> is this the right file? Yeah, I'm gonna assume that this is one of those those times where <laughs> I thought I was filming, but I was not. <laughs> those blushes are stunning. Why did you do this to me? They yes. Great point. They would all be pretty as eyeshadows too. So pretty. Jen said, mm -mm, I have highlighters I don't wear either. I'm not buying anymore. I was like, I'm not getting, well, I did buy. <laughs> I'll show y'all in a second. No, but for me, like, okay, I, I ain't even going to try to justify why I bought highlighters. Y'all will see in a minute. All right. Next is something that I actually have on. And it is from Say Beauty. This brand, I, I did a campaign for them. Um, let me put them up on the screen. I did a campaign for them 
two or three years ago. And the make, like, I was just like, oh my God, their makeup is so pretty. But I feel like nobody caught on to their stuff. But all of a sudden now it's like viral on TikTok. So I actually picked up this one in Spicy. Oh, I was like, why is the box empty? <laughs> so I picked this up in Spicy, which um, here's the product here. And it's a liquid blush. Like I said, I'm in a liquid blush kind of like uh, time of life right now. Now I'm going to stop sharing the screen just so that y'all can see this a little bit better. And hopefully, sheesh. All right, I'll put it here. All right, if you're like, why are you not getting this right? It's because I'm flipped around with what I'm looking at. I don't have a mirror. <laughs> Damn. All right. <laughs> I, I can't get this one. And then the lighting kind of makes it a little hard. But this is really pretty. So I have a, a little bit of a liquid blush kind of thing going on right now. And most of the colors that I wear are like bright oranges or bright pinks. Um, I actually have this on my cheeks. If you've been looking at my cheeks throughout this live, that is what is on them. If you can even see that. I am on my laptop, so it does make it a little <laughs> a little hard to see things. Um, but I may do a I may do a video with like the you know the good lenses and the good lights and whatnot. But this I thought was so pretty. It was a blind buy. Um, but you do need to, it's blendable. Not blendable, buildable. Buildable is the word that I wanted to use. So you put a little bit on, and then you keep putting a little bit on, and you keep putting a little bit on, and you keep putting a little bit on until you get the desired intensity. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried the Juvia's Place liquid blushes. The Juvia's Place liquid blushes, you ain't got to be building. The Juvia's Place liquid blushes, you that first little dot, and you're good. <laughs> you might need to build down <laughs> instead of building up. You know, um, Sabina, hey, and I want to try that, but I only bought the Dior liquid. Dior has liquid highlighters. So this is why I love talking about the Sephora um, savings event with other people, because even though I feel like I went through their website with, with like a wide tooth comb, I there was there's still things that I did. I know I didn't take like I didn't see no Dior liquid highlighters. All right. Then, oh, so I think I will just show you what I got. Well, let me talk about foundation and then I'll show you what I got because there's only two um, foundations on my list. Um, I also, okay, I was also looking at this. Let me, I'll slap this in here real quick. And then we, I'm gonna look and see what y'all say in, in the chisette. Miss Selena Gomez, like when I tell you I love me some Selena Gomez, like <laughs> God forbid I ever meet her because I'm gonna be like, Selena Gomez! <laughs> I love her from the um that show Only Murders in the Building with Steve Martin and Martin Short. I freaking love her. And she just she seems like she would be really kind. And I just like Selena, love Selena Gomez. I love you, Selena Gomez. And you know what's funny? I pro I might have had an opportunity to meet her previously when this line first came out, but that show wasn't out then, so I was like, man. But now I'm gonna make Selena Gomez. So I was looking at these in this shade, but they didn't have it in the store. This reflect deep bronze shade. But now that I think about, it, I'm kind of and swatches for liquid products never good. They're never good because the way that these look swatched looks horrible. They look ashy. They look like no, nothing I would want to wear. I did see this mesmerized shade, which is the third shade um, from the top. And you see how ashy that looks there? It actually looks really pretty because of um, the way that a highlighter blends out. Um, but they didn't have the one, the shade that I wanted, not even for um, testing. So I was like, all right, bet. Um, and then let's talk about foundation really quick. We started to talk about the uh, House Labs foundation, which I, one of my favorites right now. I actually don't have it on. I have on a foundation that I bought 
blind. Well, not really blind because I did at least look to make sure that it matched my skin. And I have it on right now. And I'm actually really, I think, I don't think I have the box here. I just have the foundation itself. But it's a new one from Urban Decay. And it is the Face Bond Foundation. Apparently, it's self-setting. But as I was, I was doing my makeup and I was on FaceTime with Jesse Monroe, who was in here earlier, and my friend Melissa. And um, at, I was like, oh, this is supposed to be a self-setting foundation. And I'm like, that's pretty good because like my skin's been kind of dry lately. And I don't want my foundation to look dry too. Um, so I was like, oh, I don't have to set this. But the more I spoke, the more like... I wouldn't say greasy, but the more radiant it got, and I just knew that once my my oil hit that the radiance, that it would be a little bit too much. Oh, you still here? Hey, girl! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so let me show you this foundation. Um, what is it called Face Bonds? Now it's supposed to be a self-setting, waterproof foundation. Let me show you the. This is kind of nice, um, although. Again, I just bought it today, so I don't have all of the full tea on it. Now, going by the, 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 what do you call this? This is not an ad. What would you call this? Not a display. I don't know what to call this, but going by this, I would not have wanted this foundation because this is not showing, this ain't show, this is not showing me nothing. It makes the foundation look like, like, yes, and you know, it did really well to cover um, their skin, but like, it's, it's not, it's not like, it's not giving me nothing. Let me go into the deeper shades. Like, it's not like, I don't know. I don't know that this was a great representation of what this foundation looks like. Um, but I, when I went in store, I was like, oh, let me see, if, you know, if the, um, This felt product doesn't look oil, look oily on skin. I would say it didn't look oily. It just looked extra radiant. I wouldn't say it looked oily like where it looked greasy or anything like that. Now, you guys might think I might look a little oily or greasy now because I've been sitting with it. But then also the way the lights and then my laptop is making me look. Do I look greasy? I don't know. I can't tell. I, don't, I hope I don't look greasy. Actually, I don't mind looking greasy. But... This is really pretty. I got shade 33 Deep Neutral, which was like a beautiful match for my skin. I thought I felt like it covered well, but it didn't look like heavy. Uh, but, you know, this too early to tell because I've literally only had it on for no more than two hours, <laughs> three hours. It doesn't look greasy. Oh, Winsome loves the show too. That show, it, oh my God, I love that show. I don't know what they're going to do. Are we getting a season four? I don't remember. I might rewatch seasons one through three. I like that show had me like, let's leave it going. <laughs> All right. Another foundation that I, okay. We talked about the house labs earlier. I like the house. I like I, house labs is one of my favorites right now. It gives um, a very nice, I would say like a satin finish maybe like a satin matte finish. Um, this one I wear, I think my shade is 470, yeah. Now, what be killing me sometimes is when they put medium near the name of my foundation shade. I'd be like, ooh, that's not gonna work. But it did. <laughs> like, that's my shade. But you know what it is? Is that for a long time, what my shade was one of the deepest. Like, there, maybe there was one shade deeper than mine, but thankfully, a lot of these brands got it together and they have a lot more shades. But it's so weird for me to look at a foundation and have the word medium or even sometimes tan uh, referred to with my skin tone because I'm like, I'm not medium. I'm dark. <laughs> okay. Um, but this is this is a beautiful foundation. Um, I don't know that. Oh, I like how they do the chest swatches. So this is my, oh, this is my shade right there, the 470 medium deep cool. And then calling it medium deep cool is a little weird too because I have uh, neutral undertones, but that's what they want to call it. You know, whatever it it matched. Um, do we have a before and after here? Now, now that's a before and after. That is a before and after. Can I make this bigger so that you guys can see it? 
It's like, okay, so here's the before. She looks gorgeous before. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. There we go. Gorgeous before, and then look at that after. Because they put other makeup on, which I guess maybe kind of distorts how the <laughs> makeup would look. <laughs> but that's a before and after to me. That would make me want to buy that foundation. And if they listed what other makeup she's using, I would want to buy that as well, too. All right. So that's the House Labs. And then another foundation I think is nice is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Um, I'm starting to sound a little stuffy because it is allergy season. All right. After this, this is the last thing I'm going to show you on the screen. And then we're going to talk about some more of these uh, things that I actually bought. Let's get in here. I love, I was just telling my friend Kalina, who is Jesse Monroe's nail care, that I love going live on YouTube because like, we're, we're, it's just such a cool, you guys are such a vibe, like such a vibe. Plus there's also all of these really cool tools, tools to go live on YouTube where I can like show you, oh, I just realized I forgot to post an Instagram that was going live. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> but there's like all these really cool tools I can show you and you guys are just like a vibe. So I, this is another foundation that I really like. It's not going to be, it's, it's more of like a, like this has really good coverage. I would say this is pretty similar ish to the house labs foundation. Yeah. The only reason why I have both is because the brands sent me both. I would say that this and the and the House Labs are pretty similar. Maybe the House Labs has more, let's see, does it have more shades? Oh, yeah. It looks like the House Labs has more of a shade selection. NARS drives me nuts sometimes with their shade range because, uh, excuse me, one second. Oh, allergies. NARS drives me nuts sometimes with their shade range because um, they keep, one, they'll change the name for a different foundation. Like all of the names will be different. So it's like, damn, like this one I wear Manaus, but in another one, I might wear something called something totally different. It's like, keep it consistent. And then sometimes they may come out with a really cool formula and then the shade that's close to me doesn't match me at all, right? Like, I'd be like, what y'all win? All right, let me stop sharing the screen so that I could show you uh, what else I bought. Let me tell you something. I went, you never go in Sephora and think you went ham because of the price, but then when you open the bag, it'd be like, hey, but four products in here. <laughs> so some of this stuff, you, you probably like, I'll give you my reaction to when I saw them in the store, but you're not you're not gonna be able to experience it until you unless you like go into the store or you buy it yourself, right? Oh, did y'all see? Ooh, my little sweaty underarm, my bad. <laughs> um, I feel like I owe somebody a soul Asian. No, I don't. I don't owe them no apology because some of these stuff I don't I don't love the scent. But or maybe somebody owes me an apology because nobody told me about number seventy one. Somebody owes me an apology because they never told me about shade shade. Since 71. This, I don't even understand how I stumbled upon it because I went directly for this body cream, the Sol de Janeiro Bomb Dia. This is the number 40. I have the spray to this and I love the spray. And I didn't, for some reason, I didn't realize they had a um, body cream. So I was like, okay, I'll get the body cream too. Because I'm like, I'm like in a scented body cream era right now because I couldn't wear uh, scented body creams and scrubs and stuff like that in the winter because. Skin was like dry and, and sensitive and whatnot. Um, and then I wound up buying this. This was an impulse purchase because I was like, I don't need no damn body scrub. My friend sells body scrubs. But then I was like, the 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 texture of that, and I, I love this scent. It's like vanilla. Let me let me get the notes up because sometimes I smell things that aren't there. I want to say it's um, so de Janeiro forty. Let me make sure I get the notes correctly here. Okay. All right. 
yeah, warm and spicy, definitely, because me and warm and spicy, we we be going together like this. Okay, so I do I did smell floral, but okay, and I did smell vanilla. Okay, all right, I ain't crazy, that crazy. So black amber plum, vanilla woods, jasmine blooms, um, the sensite fruity florals, very fragrance really florals. I usually can't stand a floral unless it's mixed with something like this, and this I love. So I have th this the same scent as in these two products. Now this number 71, I want to, I, matter of fact, who, who can I blame in the chat for not telling me about this? <laughs> Let me pull it up so I have the notes. I, what, okay, let's do this. Let me tell you what I think is in it and then we'll check to see if I'm right. I smell, I smell caramel. I smell cinnamon. I smell sugar cookie. Maybe a touch of vanilla, maybe some nutmeg but I'm smelling very sweet and spicy, like not spicy. Well, I mean, nutmeg and, and whatnot are spices, right? Cinnamon, they're spices. All right, Sol de Janeiro 71. Let's see what's in it, see if I'm right. But why nobody told me about this? And is there a body uh, cream to go with it? So let's see if I was right. Where's the notes? Wait, y'all not going to... So you just not going to tell me what the notes are? <laughs> you just going to tell me the ingredients? Oh, here they go. Okay. Warm and spicy. Yeah. Okay. It's caramelized vanilla. I did say caramel. I said vanilla. Oh, toasted macadamia nut was what I was smelling. Toasted macadamia nut. Okay. Because I smelled cinnamon and I smelled sugar cookie but it was actually toasted macadamia nut and tonka bean. Yo. Now, of course, like if you, if you are unlike me, you don't like gourmand scents. Oh my God, this smells so good. Yo, when I was in the store, I wanted to be, I wanted to grab the nearest person next to me and be like, yo, <laughs> like pull them in close. Like, have you smelt this? <laughs> It was an emergency. I needed someone else to know. You ever be by yourself? Well, maybe because I like to talk. <laughs> and because I work from home, sometimes, you know, I mean, I can FaceTime my friends and my family, but sometimes I need to talk to myself. But it's sometimes you need somebody, like, in person. And I want it to be like, yo, somebody needs to know how much <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> but I think I might have scared anyone. I'm like, Grab them close, like, do you know what this smells like? This, when I tell you, when I layer this with my um, Parfums de Marly uh, Altair, Altair, I don't know how to say, it, to say that mess, but it smells, it smells so good. Like, I probably should have checked to see if that, well, I didn't want to buy a big bottle just because I sprayed it in the store and I'm like, this smells good. But sometimes something can smell good, and then once it dries down, and you know we get down to the other notes, sometimes I'm like, "Ooh, that don't smell so good." But <sighs> I love it. Another impulse purchase. I was checking out on the Sephora line right now. Mind you, it was 1:03, and I was supposed to be on a video call with my therapist at one o'clock, and I'm like. In my head, like, y'all gotta hurry up and check me out, right? <laughs> but of course, I'm not trying to, like, give that energy because, like, you know, you don't want to scare people. So a girl came by, and if there's one thing that, at, like, me being getting older, sometimes you sometimes you get older, you get a little crotchety, right? But I check my crotchetiness because, you know, people people don't deserve, unless, like, they do something to me, then, like, maybe the crotchetiness, crotchetiness will come out. Anyway. One thing I can't stand, if I'm waiting online to check out and I'm seeing too many conversations happening and people go, going back and doing stuff in the back and you ain't gonna ring me up, you ain't gonna pop in and hop on a register and ring people up and get me and these 50 people behind me up out of here. Like, I, I, so I, would, I would say something, but I wouldn't be like mean about it. I'm like, come on, man, y'all better open up another register, you know? Anyway, this girl walked back there and I was like, why she ain't opening up a register? But I was like, what is on her eyes? So I was like, excuse me. <laughs> what is on your eyes? And let me tell you something. I had a bad experience at Sephora two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I talked about it on my Instagram stories. But 
a lot of times I have good experiences in Sephora. And I went to one where the, 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 the people that work there were there to work. They're there to work. They're there to give the vibe, the Sephora vibe. They're there to sell product. They're there to give joy. They're there to sell product. And she was like, oh my God, it's from Danessa Myricks. Should I get it for you? And I was like, girl, yeah, yeah, go get that shit for me. <laughs> so it is. And then after she gave it to me, I was like, oh, I think I already have this at home. But I couldn't remember. So I was like, nah, I need that. This is called the Infinite Chrome Flakes Multi Chrome Gel for Eyes and Face. The way that this mess glittered and shimmered on her eyes, I was like, ma'am, give it to me. And I feel like more people at Sephora should adorn themselves in, in a way in which you would be mad excited to find out what they got on and for them to bring it to you. And she brought that to me with this quickness because I was next in line. And by the time she came back, I was still next in line. She was like, jump, jump, jump. But this is what it looks like, right? And oh my God. it's a gel. So you don't even have to put, you don't need to set it with nothing. I might still have had some remnants of other products on my hand from before. So it might look a little bit weird. And we, like, again, I'm on my laptop here with, with some, some weird lights, but honey, 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 that, oh my God, that is going to be beautiful. So I would just kind of like just press this on the eyes. Um, oh, and it sets pretty quickly too. So you got to get in, you got to get in and get out with this. So another than that's Myrick's purchase, um, <laughs> that I think I'm going to be happy about and enjoy. Um, and then the other thing that I bought, it's not, it's not very exciting. It's just like a makeup brush, a foundation brush that I already, excuse me, sorry guys, that I already have, but I wanted another one because sometimes I might dip the foundation brush into something on one day. And then the very next day I want to use something else. So I was like, let me just get another makeup brush because even if I wash the brush, it may not dry in time for me to use it again. You know what I mean? So this is great, I find, for uh, certain liquid foundations. It's not going to be great for everyone because um, some, some foundations just look better when you apply it with your fingers. So <sighs> yo, this packaging sometimes is going to be the, the end of me. So I'm going to just use these, these nail clippers that I would, that was trying to use early to clip uh, Cat Williams toenails. But, um, you know, that line that I just said just now about clipping Cat and Williams' toenails would sound wild if you didn't know that my cat's name was Cat Williams. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn, y'all trying to get me to have a brain aneurysm trying to open up stuff. But this is what it looks like. And then you essentially, you can, you know, like, do like this. When I put this on today, I kind of just went, zoop, 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 zoop. Oh, this foundation, oh. I can't wait to see what it looks like towards the end of the day so I know if it's if it's given or not. All right, and as I promised, I, this, this is not Sephora. Now, if you want to buy anything that I mentioned here, it's in the description. I would love for you to use my link. It gives me a little credit, a little, little commission, and the commission, you know, it goes into, you know, the equipment and stuff and whatnot. Now, live's a little bit different because I used to go live with my regular camera, but I felt like it look, just looked the same um, as the laptop, so I was like, Let's just do the laptop because I ain't going to be sitting a whole bunch of wires and whatnot. But, you know, my videos look a little bit better with the video cameras. Ugh, Speaking of, as soon as I get off the phone here, hopefully they're still there. I need to call customer service and pay for my light. But I also went to Target and I kind of bought these on impulse. I didn't even, we're going to swatch these together because I didn't even get to swatch them. Uh, well, couldn't swatch them in the store anyway. And I literally bought this like a couple of hours before the live. Um, but these are their Halo Glow Beauty Wands. I have a few of these already from that I bought last year and I forgot that I, I kind of forgot that I had them. <laughs> Come on, open. Why do these things wanna? Okay, so this one is actually a highlighter. And I'm telling you, Elf is Elf be coming through with some beautiful stuff. Now, the thing is, when you first Oh, that happened pretty quickly because usually with stuff like this, you got to be twisting for days. So we're going to find out how this looks together. 
Oh, that's pretty. Now, let me tell you something. When you're looking at it from, from you know, this this light, the light and the lamp. I don't even know if y'all gonna be able to see that. Maybe a little something. But that's pretty. I would just put this like on the tops and just blend it in with um maybe I would maybe use a beauty blender or maybe something with um a brush similar to that brush I just showed you that I don't really remember where I just put. Oh, here it is. Or maybe something like this with like less less densely packed bristles. Um, just because like I don't want the highlighter to be like like boop, boop, boop. I would use something that looks like this, but with um less bristles. So maybe <laughs> maybe something that's like like a little bit like that, and then hit it, hit it like that, like a fan br fan brush or something. And then this is the Halo Glow Beauty Blonde Beauty Wand Blush. Um, this is the you go you go cocoa is the name of this shade. This one was called Liquid Gold. So this is probably gonna give kind of like the vibes of that um rare beauty. Ooh. Oh <laughs> Of the rare beauty, like that color. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's similar similarish to that to the ooh, to that Selena Gomez one, where it's kind of like a raspberry metallic almost kind of thing. Oh, the, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me um swatch them side by side, so y'all can see. Um. Yo, this is pretty. Let's see what the, the difference is there. I hope this earthquake don't plan on doing no more earthing and quaking. Because that can get a little tiring after a while. So this is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty. <laughs> it's Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. They look very similar. Now, obviously, I'm keeping both because I feel like I could do something with both. It is like <laughs> ah! I hope y'all can see that. But let me tell you something. This woo, this is so pretty. All right, let me see if I missed anything in the comments here. My 20-year-old saves up all her chains for Soul Janeiro products. Yeah, the youth, the youth, and even the youth are youth. Because the, the 10 and 11 year old Sephora kids. They going in there for the Sol de Janeiro, and I could I could see exactly why this stuff smells. Well, not all of it. Like it depends on what your um what you love. Um, I do that with my mom. Listen, if I first of all, me and my mom can't go shopping together because I'm starting to get crotchety, but my mom is all the way crotchety. So she would be like, "Oh my God, why is the music so loud? What is this? Let me go back in the car. i oh my God, I want to go home." <laughs> I could not go shopping with my with my mama. Um, yes, Target always ends up taking all the spending cash and then some Sephora too. You know what? You know what's funny? I rarely go inside of a Target. I shop at Target multiple times a week, some weeks, at least once a week because I order groceries and I have them deliver it. And that kind of keeps me from like overspending. Although then I got to tip them. So that is a form of overspending, but I don't mind tipping them because it's like you came to deliver my groceries. Here you go, here you go, a good tip. But um, it does keep me from impulse shopping. So I guess maybe it does kind of even itself out a little bit. But this, and they read, I went to the Target in Valley Stream, which I almost never go to that one because I'm never in that area. But they redid that Target so nice that like the beauty area was just like, why don't you come on over? Girl, come on over, girl. Why don't you come see what we got? And they had good stock. Now, Target, I don't know about other states, but in New York, they're like things are things are locked up. They don't let them out when it comes to um beauty products and um skincare and well beauty products, skincare is beauty products, but like a lot of that stuff is locked up, except for certain things, like the, the elf wasn't locked up. Because if I had to ring a bell. Sometimes I'm patient enough to ring the bell and wait for somebody to come. But if I ring a bell for a product and you taking too long, I might ring that bell again. <laughs> and then I might be like, come on. 
mind and eat it. But um, I got to chill. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to see if I, because last time I hooked up my, um, my uh, actual computer to the live. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to see if I can do like a multi-camera thing because then then I could have the camera that I'm talking to. Uh, because here's the here, 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 here's the problem. I love to show products with a 50 millimeter lens that's a macro lens, so it makes it like like you can really see detail really well. But me personally, because it it's such a close-up lens, you're gonna be like looking at me in the live like this, unless I back up like all the way in the corner over there. <laughs> So I'm going to try to do like a multi, I'll test it out maybe like six months from now <laughs> because then I can talk to you and then show you the product from the other angle. I've seen, I've seen YouTubers do it. I just have to um, <laughs> brace myself to set that up. Oh yes. We're getting another season of only murders in the building. Oh my, we need more television shows. Like that's in the topic for another day, but we need more good television shows. Cause I think, I feel like, TV people, uh, because of the writer strike and all that other stuff, and because a lot of people are binge watching old shows, I feel like they just kind of gave, gave up on a lot of original programming. We no, mm -mm, not acceptable. I for one need more television programming, and they need to get on with it. All right, let's see. Um. Speaking of sins, have you checked out Henry Rose? Now I've never even heard of Henry Rose. Hey, DB, what's up? Definitely going to try Sephora brushes. I saw someone say, I don't know where the comment, um, if I can find a comment, but someone else had said that they love Sephora uh, brushes. Sephora makes some good, Sephora collection makes some good quality brushes. Like I would say a good majority, oh, there we go. A good majority of the brushes that I own are Sephora brushes. I'd show you, but they're all dirty and, you know, you don't need to see that side of me. <laughs> I, I need to wash those brushes. Um, let's see. I'm surprised Sephora hasn't created a line aimed at those kids without saying it's a kid's line. I'm surprised. They had, I, I want to say there was a Sephora kid's line. But it was probably debuted around the time when like younger millennials were still like tweens. Cause I remember, cause my niece Jasmine, she's gonna be 30 this year. So I'm like on the older millennial and she's at the younger end of the millennial. Actually, yeah, I think we're at the polar opposite ends of millennial. Um, and I remember seeing something like that when she was a tween um, and it didn't do well. And the thing is, I I think why they probably won't do it Trends move too freaking fast nowadays. These kids, these kids, <laughs> back in my day. No, the trend cycles move so fast because I feel like I um it takes it can take anywhere from I don't know to I don't know how long to create a line. I don't know how long it would take a big company to uh, create a makeup line, I uh, a product line. I feel like indie brands can turn things out quicker because they don't have so many like chains of command and whatnot. That, that's what I, I think from what I understand. Um, but I feel like by the time that they develop that, they do all the testing and the R and D and the focus groups and all that other stuff, these kids would have moved on to something else. <laughs> and I think they benefit from the fact that these kids want adult products. Not that something like this is really marketed towards adults, but they do be wanting that uh, drunk elephant. And that is um, about 95 to 97% um, for adults. Um, I think they benefit from the fact that they have the kids who want the products that are already in the store. So I don't think that they need to worry about <laughs> creating a separate line. And plus the trends move, the trends move too freaking fast. Laundry, yeah, laundry products are locked up too. Like a lot of, like a lot of, like people are stealing. <laughs> Yo, they stealing. They are stealing so much, and I wish they wouldn't steal because then it makes the prices go up for the rest of us. Unless we stealing too, y'all stealing? <laughs> Ain't gonna tell nobody. I'm not stealing. I'm too scared to steal. Matter of fact, one time I was doing self checkout a long time ago. I was doing self checkout at Target, and 
I think like a salad dressing or some something in a bottle that was like kind of skinny or ketchup or something like that had fallen in between the cart and I didn't see it when I uh, was checking out. I didn't see it until I got to my car. I unloaded my groceries, took that bottle and I went back to that self checkout and boop, and bought it. Cause I was like, you know what I'm not gonna get? Karma. <laughs> and can you imagine if I got caught <laughs> and then that mess went viral? I would be done. I would be done, son. Anyway, I am going to end this here because I want to hopefully see if I can still call those people in and pay for my, um, <laughs> AO said, no, I'm not stealing. <laughs> see if I can still call those people and find out if I can pay for my, um, my light. So that way maybe I can get it, um, get it back by Monday. Karma don't play. Right. <laughs> Exactly. Like I accidentally steal a ketchup and then I don't know, I get hit by a bus or some shit. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you guys. I'm going to have the replay up. Um, I don't know. It may take inst Instagram. What do we? YouTube. It may take YouTube a little while to process it and whatnot. Oh, it might come up real quick. But anyway, see you guys. New videos coming out on Sunday. Bye.